Good evening YouTube. So, uh, I had an idea last night that I should put all of these um, INR 18650 Samsung 15M cells to good use. I've got a uh, pretty good quantity of them. I've got some more. These are just the ones that I've got tested. Uh, I've got a whole bunch more that I still haven't pulled down and uh, ran through the testing process. Basically what I'm planning on doing now is building a 60 cell no, scratch that, not 60. Um, 120 cell, um, 3S pack. I'm going to combine my 120 cell 3S pack with a 600 watt power inverter. Just a cheap modified sign power inverter. I'm going to wire that up into a toolbox. So I've got a uh, just a toolbox that's um, going to be perfect size to fit these. Um, so I have three bricks identical to this. Um, three bricks, a 3S balance lead. I'll buy a new lipo charger that's a bit bigger than that one. Uh, most of these test between 1400 and 1600 and something milliamp hours, they're rated at 1500 so that's perfectly normal um, do that set it all up like that and the other thing I'm going to add to it is a nice little four port um, multi voltage input USB charge thing so that it can be used as a USB power source and uh, I may even include, we've got some male and female Molex connectors, like the uh, four pin, like these. Got some male and female ones of them, and what I might do is wire up either a light bar or just some uh, work lights up to uh, a couple of Molex connectors so that I can just clip them on, clip them off. And essentially we'll have just a portable power pack. Um, We'll be able to have 240 volt, we'll be able to have 5 volt with the utilisation of our USB charger. Um, and we'll be able to have 12.6 uh, well, down to 10.8, which most of these LED light bars won't drop out. Um, at 10.8 they'll keep going. Um, that one there is only on very small wiring, it only runs off a 12 volt, a perfect 12 volt Xbox 360, first generation transformer back there. And uh, they keep going, no worries at all. So, uh, one thing I want to do straight up is uh, get some new leads to the lab power supply. What I want to do is get these new leads on the power supply, connect them up to the inverter, just at uh, we'll go 12.6. work our way down from 12.6 until the inverter beeps to let us know that it's uh, struggling for voltage. Up to 12.456. No matter what I do we will get a big spark. Uh, connecting this to the inverter, so I'm just connecting the leads to the inverter. Okay, inverter is live and producing AC. It's pulling about a quarter of an amp at uh, yeah, about a quarter of an amp at 12.5. So let's get it down. So obviously this is no load, but um, I'm going to run significant leads uh, to the battery packs when I make them, so that it'll have quite a bit of beef to them. I'll just grab the uh, client meter, so it's got a high voltage indicator in it. So as you can see, we're producing. 
no high voltage there. High voltage, let you know what's happening. So it is creating um, AC. It says input voltage 11 to uh, 15 volts. So we're not quite going to get away with 16. Was it 16.4 charged for 4S and 14.2 flat? Something like that. And I'll have to punch it in the calculator. But um, let's see what happens when we go up. It's saying it can take 15. To produce an AC, or is it going out on an overload? I think that's not going out on an overload. Yeah, there you go, it's kicked back in again. So, yeah, over 15, it doesn't like it, drops out. We go back into the 13 range, it uh, kicks back in again. So, that's good. Let's go down into the into the tens will be fine, and that'll be a safe stopping point for these cells to uh, not drop out completely. Another thing we're going to do is I've got the little where are they mini volt gauges. We we'll have them on the three each of the three packs. I've got three of them, and uh, that'll keep an eye on. The packs. I may even actually just put one on the um, one on the main pack, but anyway, just to get an accurate pack voltage. Yeah, that's the plan. This has a 1200 watt peak, and it will run things like a power drill, a small angle grinder, and even just as a rough calculation, of 1500 milliamp hours per cell. We're looking at nearly 600 watt watt hours of uh, watt hours of capacity. So nothing to sneeze at, it's 0.6 of a kilowatt hour, and uh, it'll be beautiful and portable. It's got a nice cooling fan in the back of this, which only kicks in when it gets above 25% load, sir. That's the plan. Um, once I've got these constructed, we'll make a video about putting, building the packs, actually packing them up and uh, making them. This is going to be a little bit crude, it's not going to have cell level fuses or anything silly like that. Um, but not really necessary. Um, what I will do is work out the max draw of the inverter itself and uh, probably solder or maybe even get some uh, blade fuse holders like the uh, automotive style blade fuse holders to uh, separate the packs and keep the packs safe from the inverter. The inverter is fuse protected inside. I've blown one before, that's why it's been apart. But yeah, that's the plan guys. Thanks for watching, I'll keep you updated with progress.